Hey everybody, I'm Sam Williamson with Steiner Tractors. I wanted to take a second today to run you through how we like to set up our tractors for slope mowing specifically. We're gonna show this tractor here with our flex deck on front, but with the trike tractor set up, you can run any of our attachments on the side slope. Uh, first things first, we mentioned our dual wheels. This is our field track option. A field track is one of our most popular options, does a great job of not damaging turf, but giving us enough tread to hold a side slope and keep you from slipping. Just up from that, we've got our foot pegs. Our foot pegs do a great job of keeping that operator in the seat. What we love to accompany our foot pegs with is our hand control kit. Our hand control allows us to move the tractor forward and backwards very smoothly while using those foot pegs to keep us in the seat. So no feet on the traction pedals forward and backwards. However, when you get to the bottom, you can still use those traction pedals to move you forward and backwards. Another key feature is our weights on the rear of the machine. You gotta have those on any type of slope setup. That's our counterbalance. So we've got our, our deck on the front. We need that weight on the back to make sure that we stay grounded. The Steiner tractor already has a low center of gravity. So the more weight we can add to it, the better our traction's gonna be on the slopes that we're, we're asking it to climb and mow. We also love to put on all of our tractors that have run dual wheels a slope meter. This slope meter allows us to stay under 30 degrees and maintain where that side slope is so we can operate this safely. One of our newest features and, and what has been the most beneficial for us is our hydraulic weight transfer. What this does is allows us to infinitely change the traction to our front tires. Depending on what front attachment we have, we can dial that and decrease the weight of that front, front attachment and increase the weight that we have on our front tires. More weight on our tires, the better strength we have and better weight we have to climb that hill and maintain our traction. We also added a six ply heavy duty tire so we can run them at a lower PSI. This is our 80 inch flex deck. The 80 inch width of cut with the option of going from one to four inches in height of cut. We have integrated four individual decks into this so you get full articulation. Each deck has its own blade so we're preventing scalping and we're able to follow all of those undulations on your golf course lawn, wherever you're trying to maintain. A standard is a side discharge deck, but we also offer a mulching kit that keeps all of your debris from blowing out of the uh, right side. So if you're trying to avoid getting it in flower beds, bunkers, on the greens, we can do that as well. This is a, uh, a very productive and beneficial deck, heavy duty built, and allows us to have long belt life, long deck life, so that you can get the job done day in and day out. To hook up your flex deck properly to your tractor, first thing you will do is drive your tractor forward so that the hitch arms of the tractor slide just inside the hitch arms of the flex deck. Once fully seated, you will then turn your machine off and apply the parking brake and walk around to the right side of the machine. From this position, you'll be able to engage your lock lever, locking the flex deck onto the tractor. We will then wrap our PTO belt around the tractor PTO using our tension lever to pull the slack out of your belt and then going one notch higher to have the proper tension. With our flex deck, we will then add our two auxiliary hydraulic ports to allow us to operate our wing deck. And then we plug in our 12 volt safety switch that prevents the deck from remaining on if the, the wing deck is lifted too high. Once all this is completed, you will be ready for the field.